story of Momonosuke is an intriguing one, and that the revelations that we got inspired me to do some research into where Oda could have gotten his inspiration. This is part one of a series of theories relating to the deeds in the void century. Uranus is a primal Greek god, symbolizing the sky, and also had 12 children who he hated. Uranus could possibly be represented as an ancestor of Momonosuke. Uranus died by being castrated by his own son, Cronus, who envied his dad and wanted his power. It's interesting to note as well that according to Greek mythology, giants were born from the blood of the castrated testicles of Uranus. Giants are obviously not regular humans due to their irregular size and longer lifespan. Could giants be demigods? In One Piece chapter 821, Zanisha states that it had been banished to walk for eternity. Cronus was eventually overthrown by his own son and was banished for eternity. Could Zanisha be represented by Cronus and was banished due to a previous coup d'etat? The Kozoki are also somehow connected to the moons and planets. How did I figure that? Well, looking at the symbol, there are eight orbs around one large orb on their family crest. Do you know how many planets are in the solar system? That's right, eight. Could that center orb be a moon? We do know somehow the minks are affected by this. In closing, I believe Momonosuke can somehow use the power of the moon to control or command the minks and even more. One last thing. The name of the person who brought down Cronus was none other than Zeus, the Thunder God. Do we remember the last person we saw on the moon? Thank you for watching. This was a theory in place of the podcast for this week. Me and Fruit Flower would be a good thing to just throw this together. So thank you guys so much. Have a good day.